when they were made 112 years ago, I believe they're better quality than they are made nowadays. The retention wall at Stuart Hall School is a historical marvel. The blocks in the wall are concrete, but each one has been hand chiseled to give the surface the look of raw stone. They just don't make them like this anymore. We've learned that those are only constructed in one place in the U.S. now, so to try to create those to match the wall would be very expensive and probably uh, would take a long time. The wall is undergoing some renovation. The blocks were put on a flatbed truck until they were needed again. On Tuesday, the school found themselves between a rock and a hard place. Someone helped themselves to 20 of the blocks. I spoke with a neighbor who said she saw a white van pull right up onto the grass. Three men started loading the blocks into the back of the van in broad daylight. And people in the business tell me the thieves knew exactly what they were getting. We live in a small town. Um, everyone knows everyone. It's probably someone who knew about the job, who's already inside. <clears throat> I mean, not many people are running around looking for center blocks nowadays. Getting the blocks back is important. Not only does the cost factor into it, but these particular blocks have stood the test of time. We started the grade on the far end of the wall, and we came down nine and three eighths, nine inches for the block and three eighths for the mortar. And when we got to the other side, we leveled it, and it was completely still on the mark from 112 years ago. We feel that probably someone took them, but we hope that they will think that that was probably inappropriate and somehow let us know uh, somehow that um, where we can get this back. In Stanton, Dave Bikenish, WHSV News 3.